yesterday we finished the explanation for the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. So today we're going to put everything together and just recap on what this mantra really means to us and why exactly we are chanting it. Mananat Trayate Iti Mantra. This means that mantra, the person who reflects upon it, contemplates on it, is protected by it. A mantra protects the person who contemplates on it. So as I said, sometimes we may have mantras on recordings and that's really good. But really the true protection lies when we think deeply about the mantra. And what makes a mantra so special? It's because it is a vibration. It is a positive vibration that we are effectively sending out, not just to ourselves, but to everyone around us. And how quick does that vibration move? Faster than a Twitter post. And you will know just because when you say Om, how quickly do you feel silent after that? So a mantra has that potency to heal. And this Mahamrityunjaya mantra, which we've reflected on, is a mantra of healing. Mrityunjaya. It, it, it conquers death. It conquers disease. And Mahamrityu, it conquers maha death and maha disease. Great death or great disease. So when we chant this mantra, we are healing not only ourselves, but everyone around us and our whole environment, our whole house transforms. And when we do it as a group, that effect is even bigger. We start the mantra with Om. Why Om? Because Om is Bhagavan's phone number. When we want to talk to God, how do we call God? Through the power of Om. The letter A connects us to all of the gross world. The letter U connects us to the subtle world. The letter M connects us to the causal world. And therefore we chant Om to connect us and tune us into the totality known as Bhagavan. Trayambakam yajamahe. Yajamahe, we worship. Whom do we worship? Trayambakam. Lord Shiva with three eyes. What are his three eyes? His three eyes are the eye of justice, of compassion, and of wisdom. Why justice? Because Bhagavan is Karmapala Data. Whatever the results of our actions are, we will get them. As per what we put in, it will come back to us. But is there a way if we did so many wrong things, how do we get out of it? Bhagavan has the eye of compassion. When we pray, that prayer is also an action and that will yield what is called grace, which will improve our lives for the better. And what happens when we connect to God, when we pray, what happens? I explained like that God is like Wi-Fi. And we connect, when we connect to God, what happens is he opens our eye of wisdom. And that eye of wisdom is to tell us who we really are. So we worship Lord Shiva because we want that eye of wisdom opened up. We want to know who we really are. And further, we worship Lord Shiva because he is Sugandhim. He's the one who is ever fragrant. He has the most fragrant qualities. And that which we really, really need right now is his quality of fearlessness, Abhayam. He's Sugandhim. He's full of virtuous qualities such as fearlessness. And not only that, Pushti Vardhanam. Lord Shiva is that Bhagavan and all Bhagavan is not the one who wants us to be happy. And Bhagavan doesn't want us to be sad, but Bhagavan wants us to grow. So Pushti Vardhanam is whatever Bhagavan gives is for our growth. And so we said the best way to go through this is to grow through it. Pushti Vardhanam. And how do we want to be freed? Urvaru kamiva bandhanat mrityoho. Free me from this bandana, this bondage of mrityu, of death, of change, 
just like a cucumber off a vine. That vine is something that kind of ties us together, wraps us around, and we want to be freed like a cucumber, meaning when we are ripe, please pluck us. Please help make sure that we ripen through this challenge, through this trial. Not only that we let it pass, but we actually become sweet after it, not bitter. We become sweet, we learn our lessons, and we actually transform. So free me like that sweet cucumber who has learned the lessons. Free me from this bondage. And this bondage is nothing but change. And how do we want to be freed? Not temporarily, not just free me from this incident or free me from this challenge, but free me by giving me that knowledge, opening up that eye of wisdom, giving me that knowledge so that I can deal with anything that comes my way. Knowledge and strength. And lastly, Ma Amritat. Do not keep me away from Boksha or immortality. Let this challenge, let this experience be a reminder of my purpose of life. When I have a lot of fun, when I enjoy life, when there's so many things in front of my eyes, I tend to forget you. But Lord Shiva, I am chanting this mantra because I want to heal. And in that process of healing, when I become better, don't let me forget you again. Please be in my mind and be in my heart forever so that I actually use this life to evolve, to grow, to seek you, and to become one with you. This is the essence of the Mahamrityun Jaya Mantra that we have seen in the past couple of days. Hmm? Now many of you are wondering, what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, guess what happened today? Today is a very special day because Lord Rama is born. And Lord Rama, today is Ram Navami. So Ram Navami is the day that Lord Rama is born into our lives and into our hearts. So over the next couple of days, we're going to learn about virtues because Lord Rama is that man of virtues. Mother Sita is the woman of virtues. And Hanumanji is the epitome of virtues. So over the next couple of days, this is what we will do. Before we start the prayer, some of you I know have been asking for recordings of this. I'm trying to figure out how to get it all to you. So either we will put it on YouTube or on Facebook or on something. I have, I have someone now who's helping me. So that's a great uh, relief off <laughs> my shoulder. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and um, sit for our prayer. So find a place where you can sit and be quiet. And we will start with three ohms. Oh. Oh. your body, relax your feet, your ankles, your legs, your knees, your thighs, 
Relax your hips. Your stomach. Chest. Lower back. Upper back. Shoulders. arms, your hands, relax your heart center, relax your neck, your face, your forehead, and the tip of your head. Inhale positivity, Exhale any negativity. Inhale positivity and healing and growth. And exhale any negativity, disturbance, or frustration. Inhale healing and newness. And exhale all kinds of disturbances in the world. 